all right guys so as you can see this is my december tray and honestly i absolutely loved my december tray um but it is time to clean her off and work on my january slash birthday tray so we're gonna go ahead and do that but i wanted to let you guys know there are some that really stood out to me this month that i absolutely loved the first one has to be the bianco latte like this was amazing absolutely one of the best vanillas hands down definitely worth every last dollar the kaali oud gasm vanilla oud absolutely amazing wore this so much i got a compliment every single time another one that i absolutely loved and got compliments from is this dior one and i don't know if i told you guys but this is the old dior now um like the top comes off of here but now i think it's just like a sprayer and you spray it but this is the original dior addict edp and this smells amazing absolutely love that one and then i mean burberry elixir she gets the job done every single time you want something nice strawberry sweet absolutely amazing and obviously yum pistachio like she's been amazing so yeah this tray was absolutely amazing and i cannot wait to add new fragrances to the tray and play with them but i absolutely love this tray and got so many good uses out of so many of these Hi right, guys, uh, welcome back. So we are going to be doing January's fragrance tray. This is a very special month. This is my birthday tray. So obviously I will be having some really cozy fragrances because it's January, but then I'll add some special fragrances in as well because these are ones that I want to get used this month for my birthday. In previous videos, I do have a smaller tray. I will place anywhere from 10 to 15 fragrances on the tray every month until I decide if I need a bigger tray or not. But this one is working for right now. Um, this month's tray will have 15 fragrances, so it will be a little cluttered. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the first fragrance, which is going to be Billie Eilish Eilish. This is the original out of the three. I have tried two and three, but I don't like either. This is definitely my favorite. This is such a really nice, sexy, spicy vanilla. I feel like this is one of the most unique celebrity fragrances that there are out there. This has scent notes of like sugar. Um, it has some spicy notes, cacao, vanilla. Winnie Notes, Tonga Bean, Amber, just a lot of things like that. So I really, really enjoy this fragrance. And I was wearing this one a lot last year at the beginning of the year. So I wanted to go ahead and bring her back out. All right, so this next fragrance is going to be similar to one that I had on my tray last month because it is a Duke House fragrance, but I had to run this fragrance back again. This is going to be by the house of mimic and this is compound 57 this one is a dupe for kaali's yum pistachio gelato y'all i really enjoyed that fragrance last month so i wanted to go ahead and put her on the tray and i think i just did a recent video featuring these fragrances if i did i'll have it linked below but if not it will be coming soon as you can see i have already worn her a little bit and I've been really enjoying her, so I had to re-throw her back on the tray. Yeah. Moving on to the next fragrance. This is one I'm not 100% sure if I've talked to you guys about, but this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. Also one of my favorite flankers from the house of Juicy Couture. This is Sucre. I purchased this maybe like a year or so ago on recommendations from Jasmine Bullard. 
This used to be discontinued. It's kind of dusty. This used to be discontinued. Um, I think this was the last one they made in like 2019 or something like that, but they brought it back this year um, and it's now available on Ulta, but I absolutely love this one. This is a really, really nice vanilla fragrance. It also has cacao, whipped cream, and sandalwood in here. It has some other notes as well, but I feel like this is basically a really nice delicious fragrance and I wore this to bed last night and it was so so good so I'm so excited to be putting her on my tray all right moving on to the next fragrance this is going to be a very unique fragrance not everyone is going to like or appreciate this this is by the house of Juliet has a gun and this is lipstick fever this is one I have been wanting for a very, very long time and finally recently wired it and I'm so happy I did. Um, this has scent notes of raspberry, violet, iris patchouli, cedar, and vanilla. This is a very powdery, very sweet, slightly woody fragrance. It does have a very unique lipstick scent to it if you like the scent of like old school lipstick but i really really get a sweetness from this as well this is the perfume dupe for bath and body works blush cardigan that came out last year and that is the reason i wanted that wanted this because i absolutely love blush cardigan so yes i absolutely love this one and so happy to have it now next fragrance is by Jo Malone and this is Scarlet Poppy. This is the old packaging. Um, this is the one that you can find cosmetic company outlet. I got mine a second hand, um, but it was brand new and I got a really good price for it. Yes, it is authentic. I always make sure that they are before I purchase them. But yeah, this is Jo Malone's Scarlet Poppy. And I really, really wanted this one for a really long time because I heard it was kind of like a dupe for Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals. And I've been wearing it a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure. So this one has some ambrette in here. It has fig and poppy, tonka bean, and heliotrope. Very powdery, sweet, vanilla floral kind of. Not 100% sold on this one as of right now, but the girls always talk about how much they love it. So I am going to put her on a tray to get a little bit more use out of her and see what I can come up with to pair her with. So, yeah. This next one is going to be Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth Caramel Dreams. This is the second one. I want to say I have a review on this. If I do, I'll have it linked. Um, anything that I have a review on, I will have a link. But this is a very, very sweet caramel chocolatey vanilla. It also has a lemon note in here that makes it very, very different from the original. And I actually do get the lemon in here. So I wore this the other day and I really, really enjoyed it and it made me want to pull it out. So I decided to go ahead and put her on the tray. But yeah, I'm going to put her on the tray. Next fragrance is also unique. I feel like I have a lot of unique fragrances on this tray, but then I also have a lot of like regular regular stuff. This is by Mansara and this is actually my very first Mansara fragrance. This is Wild Candy. I actually inquired this from my girl Boho Guru. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing her a little bit. This has some fruity notes in here, some chocolate, bergamot, lemon. It also has some rose in here, vanilla, musk, and woody notes in here, and salt. So this is very, very unique. This is a really nice fruity floral, um, but very sweet. I do get that like chocolatiness out of here. It's very unique and different. So I wanted to go ahead and pull her out on the tray. And I mean, I think this is a great um, winter fragrance. Of course, it's not a perfume tray if I don't have at least one Kaoli on the tray. And this is a very special, unique limited edition fragrance so i had to add her on here for my birthday this is the wedding scent silk centero y'all know i love this fragrance one of the best 2023 releases 
This has some champagne, some Frasier black currant, nectarine, praline, vanilla, sugar, sandalwood. She is amazing. A really, really pretty, sweet, powdery vanilla, but it has this like sparkling touch in here. And I think she's very, very pretty and unique. Some people were saying she is like a sister to Kaylee's Vanilla 28. And I kind of get that. I do get where they were going with this, but I just feel like she's very beautiful. I wanted to go ahead and put her on the tray. This is one that I won't wear all that often because it's limited edition, but I'm hoping Mona will bring it back. So another very special fragrance that I decided to put on the tray is going to be Burberry Goddess. And we all know about her. This is that vanilla trifecta. Um, it has lavender, cacao, and ginger in here. And I only get a hint of lavender in here, which I'm okay with, but I do get like the spicy opening in here. Very, very beautiful and vanillic. And it's just really, really nice. Um, this is a special perfume to me because this is one that I wore um, for my going away party. And I think I already said that. So it already has a beautiful scent memory with it. But I decided to go ahead and put it on the tray again because, I mean, my birthday is a special one. So, yeah, definitely wanted to add her. Well, the next fragrance I added is because I wanted something with coffee in it but wasn't coffee heavy. And this is going to be Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I do not get a lot of wear out of her, but I think this is the perfect winter fragrance. Like, not even fall, but specifically winter when it's really, really cold out. The juice is really, really dark. Um, she does start off with a little bit of a bright opening because she has some bergamot in here. But I immediately just get the coffee note in here. Coffee, vanilla, caramel, and patchouli. I love this fragrance and I feel like people don't really talk about her as much as they used to. But she is such a very date night, very sexy, winter appropriate fragrance. So I absolutely love her and I cannot wait to play with her a little bit fragrance is going to be another Kaali. It is the last Kaali on the tray for this month. Last month I had three. This month I only have two. This is going to be invite only and I put this on the tray because I really don't use her. I like her but I don't use her. She's very very deep, dark, spicy, sexy, and kind of unisex. So I put this on the tray so I can get some use out of her and also to see if my husband like it, if he wants to try it as well. This has some tobacco leaf in here, sour cherry, honey, chocolate, hazelnut, cinnamon, amber, benzoin, patchouli. It is a ton of stuff in this fragrance, but it's very, very deep, dark, and sexy. Like The dead of winter is like the perfect time to wear her. And even though I'm in a more warmer climate, it still gets chilly here. It's been in the like 50s, 60s. Um, so yeah, definitely wanted to pour her out. All right, so this very next fragrance is one I haven't talked to you guys about yet, but I recently did a haul featuring this fragrance, and this is going to be by the brand Nimat, and this is a Vanilla Musk. Now, y'all said the Vanilla Musk oil had y'all in a chokehold all year long, and I didn't really like that when I initially smelled it around this time last year. But I decided, because my nose is changing, to go ahead and give the perfume a try. I did purchase this one from Ulta when I had a coupon. Very nice powdery vanilla. It has a little bit of muskiness in here. The only scent notes in here are vanilla, cake, and musk. And I feel like that's exactly what it is. I feel, it's, I feel like it's just a really simple everyday vanilla not doing too too much and i kind of have been enjoying it so far so we're gonna go ahead and add her to the tray another new one that i have to do a haul on is going to be by the brand sniff and this is tart 
Deco. And this is a, another cherry fragrance. I had to add another cherry fragrance to the tray because I really enjoy cherry in the um, winter time. And this one is definitely different from the Kayali. I feel like this one is a little bit more sweeter. This is Black Cherry Raspberry Rose Jasmine Mimosa Vanilla Birch and Vetiver. So this cherry although a lot of cherry fragrances are very similar to one another i feel like this particular one is a little bit more softer it's a more sweeter it doesn't seem as dark and heavy as the other cherries that i have so i decided to keep her and put her on my tray and i got this one recently from ota when it was on sale moving on the next fragrance i have to add her this is none other than killian's princess this is the og bottle yes i hate the bottle but what can you do the fragrance smells amazing this is your very sweet spicy vanilla love love this one it does have a little bit of a powdery touch i really really enjoy the green tea in here it has ginger it has peach obviously the base is that benzoin vanilla and marshmallow and we love that here so it is still nice and fluffy very very sweet but sexy fragrance so i absolutely love killian's princess and then the very last of fragrance to the tray is also a new one this is black opium over red y'all I like this one. I did get the baby bottle. This is the one ounce. I did do a review on it, but I don't think it's up yet. I need to do some tweaking to that video. But this is some cherry vanilla coffee and some patchouli. I really enjoy this one. I feel like if you like cherry fragrances, if you like the original black opium DNA, you will enjoy this one. But I do like this one. Um, now, I'm still testing this to see if the cherry kind of disappears. And I kind of think it does. But I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. And I am putting her on the tray for this one. All right, guys. So this is my January perfume tray, my birthday tray. I really, really love the way it turned out. I am excited to test and try a bunch of new fragrances and some old faithfuls. So yeah, um, stay tuned for, you know, the combos that I'm going to add into here. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in another video. Bye.